Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic cytokinesis. Before this, we have discussed a lot about the process of karyokinesis which involved the division of nucleus. Now let us talk about cytokinesis which from the name we can understand it is the division of cytoplasm. Cy this uh, cytokinesis it involves the division of the protoplasm into two daughter cells that is the protoplasm of the parent cell this gets distributed equally into the two new daughter cells. This takes place after the process of karyokinesis that means nucleus divides first and then this is followed by the process of karyocytokinesis. After cytokinesis the cell organelles they are also distributed equally among the two daughter cells. If cytokinesis do not follow the karyokinesis this is a condition which is known as the syncytium. So what is this? Sometimes it happens that the cytokinesis is not occurring but the karyokinesis has already occurred. So in this case what will happen? We are going to get cells which have got multiple nuclei. So multinucleated cells will be formed and this phenomena is known as the syncytium. The process of cytokinesis it starts along with the middle phase of the anaphase and it continues uh, with the cell cycle with the karyokinesis process and it gets completed along with the telophase. So once telophase is completed along with that simultaneously the process of cytokinesis is also completed. So cytokinesis is not a separate type of process that is occurring. It happens simultaneously with that of karyokinesis. Now this process of cytokinesis we are talking about is slightly different in case of animals and plants. So first let us look into how is cytokinesis occurring in case of animal cells. In case of animal cells the central equatorial part of the spindle they get changed into dense fibrous structures and these structures are known as the midbody. So the dense uh, spindle fibers they get condensed they get solidified and form dense structures and these structures are known as the midbody. The microfilaments they start collecting just below the cell membrane. The microfilaments now starts inducing the cell membrane to invaginate that is it forms an invagination as you can see over here. This invagination is basically the cell furrow formation which happens in typically in case of animal cells. Now this cleavage cytokinesis occurs because you can see a furrow is happening. So this is a process of cleavage cytokinesis which is happening in case of animal cells. So this cleavage forms this furrow sl slowly starts deepening inside and then it gets divided or the two daughter cells gets pinched off after this furrow touches each other. So this is the process of cytokinesis which is happening in case of animal cells. Now let us look into how plant cells perform their cytokinesis. In case of plant cytokinesis can happen in two ways. The first way is known as the cleavage method. What happens here? The cytoplasm here undergoes constriction in the middle. So at the middle portion of the cell the cytoplasm itself gets constricted. Now pectin hemicellulose these uh, com components and the microfilaments of the cellulose they start depositing at this constriction and it forms a wall like double wall like structure. The second type of plant cytokinesis which happens which is a more common method is known as the cell plate method. So what happens here? This is the most common method as I have already mentioned. Here the spindles may persist and may they may be called as the phragmoplast. So the spindle may exist there and this is known as the phragmoplast. Now a matrix or a film is formed. Here you can see a matrix is formed at the middle position of the cell. This film slightly solidifies and this results in the formation of the cell plate. This cell plate which has formed at the middle portion of the cell structure, whole plant cell structure, it slowly grows in size and starts and ultimately it touches the existing cell wall and then it divides or pinches off into two new daughter cells. So in this video we have talked about the process of cytokinesis, we have seen what is cytokinesis, how it is happening, we have also seen two different types of cytokinesis, one which is happening in case of animal cells and the other which is happening in case of plant cells. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.